Hi YouTube. It's been a while since I last did a pin review and test and uh, I thought I'd do one now because of this particular pin. I'll tell you more about it right after the intro. Okay, now here's the backstory. All right, I happen to have this pen in my my desk drawer, and I like to use it for when I'm doing research and, and I'm in a book, for example. And you have those uh, columns in the side of a book where it's blank, and you can write little notes and stuff. And a lot of the pens that I have, you know, doesn't write small enough so that it eats up way too much real estate. But this particular pen, which is a Sharpie, it says Sharpie pen on it, and it says down here that it is fine. Uh, this really does make those really nice little, uh, little prints. So for example, if I take this pen and I want to write really small, I can do it because look look at this little point here okay and they're calling this fine okay and then that and the reason I'm drawing your attention to this is because I'm going to show you another pin in a moment here okay so this writes really small okay so I can write little tiny things like this that uh, you almost need a magnifying glass to read but you can see here that it actually I did write something there see this writes really small so what's really cool is I can make these little annotations inside of books and in magazines or whatever I'm researching in uh, of course, books that I own, I can write in them. And uh, I like to put little notes and stuff. And so this really is uh, handy for that purpose. Whereas a lot of other pens, you try to write this small and it'll blur and blot and whatever. And it's just very difficult to do. So I went about looking for buying more of these because this was the only one I had. And I did come across this pen right here and you can see it looks way different I mean it's it's got kind of a fatter barrel on here but it's and it says here permanent marker and it says ultra fine point let's get that to focus here there we go ultra fine point so here this is called a pen and it's a fine point pen though it certainly looks like a permanent marker to me this one here actually says permanent marker and they're both sharpies so you pull this off and take a look at that point and then take a look at that point you see that I mean they're the same right so I, I found it a little confusing and the thing is, is they refer to this as a pen, and it's got a kind of a different shape than this. This has more of the permanent marker shape to it, but this also writes small. But, there is a but, not as small as the pen. And I'll show you why here in a second as I put the cap on. Now take a look at this. You can immediately see a difference here. 
Here you can see that you can get really fine lines. This one is referred to as an ultra fine, which should be finer than the fine obviously, but it's referred to as a permanent marker. And you can see that it tends to have more of a, I guess you might say a, 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 a wetness that it'll, it'll, it'll tend to spread a little more. So I can't get the words to be as fine as this. Um, it gets a, it's a little more bold, you might say bold print. But I can still I could still write very, very small. Well the thing with permanent markers, and here, let me show you something. This one here, permanent marker, ultra fine point. Why does it call it ultra fine point? But here's a Sharpie, and notice it's called fine point permanent marker. But look at this. That big fat thing on the end is what it re is referred to as a fine point. And this, you cannot write small. It's Blur City. See that? That's Blur City. Obviously, I won't be using that in the borders of a book. But the thing is, is I find this interesting that they refer to it as a fine point, but it's a permanent marker. So there's a difference, obviously, between a fine point for a permanent marker and a fine point for a Sharpie pen. So you have Sharpie marker, Sharpie pen, both fine points, but you can see they are two worlds apart. And yet the interesting thing here is the ink that comes out of this pen. It's black ink. I don't know what the difference is as far as the ink here and the ink here. To me it would be like the same, but clearly it can't be exactly the same because this ultra fine point has the same point as the pen and yet it also has this uh, real dark, bold look coming out of it. So clearly there must be some formulation difference here because the delivery point is identical, but the inks are obviously not. I do want to get more of these. However, uh, for right now, we're going to concentrate on this because I came up uh, with a nice little purchase here and let me bring that out. That's right here. Okay, and as you can see, I saw this at Sam's Club and I said, ah, 24 pack for under 10 bucks, which means that these little pins here run about a 40 cents each approximately. And I says, awesome. This is great. And I'll show you my receipt here from Sam's Club. And you can see right there, $9.98 I was able to buy 24 of these pins. So I think that is really a great price. This is ultra fine permanent marker, which will write on most surfaces. And we will test that out. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna take a look at the pin itself, just the basic components. There's not a whole lot to it, so we'll just spend a couple of seconds on this. But here's what this pin looks like. And it looks like your basic permanent marker, except this one, of course, is the ultra fine point. Has the black cap, which has the clip, which allows you to, of course, carry it comfortably in your shirt pocket, if you so dare. And you can see it has this little black end here, which doesn't come off or anything. It's just, you know, there when they sealed it. And it, you just pop it off. And of course, again, I'll show you the uh, tip. Okay, so you can put the cap on the back like this. And it feels comfortable in the hand. There, there doesn't seem to be any problem holding it. But I could tell you this, because it is a permanent marker, don't get it on your hand because, you know, if you do, it's going to probably stay there for a while. There we go. Okay, I had to get it started. But as you can see, there is the mark on my hand. 
Now, real quick here, as I go through everything, I'm going to compare everything to the pin because clearly there is a difference to the way these write. I really love the pin because of how fine it is. Now I'm going to put the pin mark down below. And of course it writes on my finger as well. Curiously, I'm going to now rub both and take a look at the pin compared to the permanent, you see? And then I'm going to keep rubbing and you should immediately see there is definitely a difference between the ink composition. The permanent marker does what you would think it would do. It stays pretty much on my skin whereas the pen itself rubs off. Now I'm going to wet my thumb and now I'm going to see if I can clean this off and you can see the difference right off the bat. Okay, so that is really clear. We are talking about two different animals here. Although it can really throw you off because they're both Sharpies. All right, so we've already seen how this thing writes on just regular paper. Paper, Okay, it writes just fine. as a permanent marker. Now this permanent marker here, I've had it for a long time and I noticed that it's starting to dry up a little bit on me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out a brand new one for the rest of the test because it just would not be fair to do a review using an old pen that I've had for years that is coming to the end of its life. So. Let's do this. Each box comes with 12, as you can see here. Writes on most surfaces. It says precision. Okay, there's all the yabby yabbas on there, and there's that on the back. Okay, so there you go. That's it there. Open it up. And there we go. Brand new one. All right, so. Oh boy, that's on pretty tight. Okay. Ah, yes, this one writes way wetter than the other one that is drying up just fine. Okay, so on paper, we know that does good. Let's check out some other surfaces here. For one, how about plastic? Here I have a bottle of water, a spray bottle. Now I'm going to go ahead and just write water. And as you would expect with any permanent marker, it writes on this surface just fine. Will it smear? Let me see. No, it's good. Permanent. Now, let's try the Sharpie pen, shall we? And I'll just write again, water. Well, it seems to be able to write on plastic. The question is now, we'll give it a second, I'll even fan it a little bit. Is it permanent like this? Well, let's find out. I'm going to move on up, move on up, move on up. Oh, no. All right, so there's a difference right there. The permanent marker writes really nice on plastic, and it stays on there. The pen does not. I can pretty much see where this is going. How about metal? All right, with my permanent marker, I'm going to write on this metal surface here of this tape measure. And I guess I'll just use this part right here and I'm going to write my name. All right. And it writes really good. You see that? Okay, we'll give that a second here. All right, Let's see if it's going to stay on there. That's permanent, right? Okay, now the pen. Okay, write my name again. All 
Okay, uh, it's thinner, but it looked like uh, it was struggling to get on there. Now I'm going to give it a couple of seconds here. And here we go. And I know what's going to happen here. And I'm sure you do too, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So we can see the difference between the pin and the permanent marker. Now we see why it's permanent. Okay. How about wood? Here's my little uh, brush that I use for my drawings, you know, to you know, little uh, eraser shavings and stuff, brush it away. Okay, so here I'm gonna write, Rick's can do it. All right, Rick's can do it. All right, well that's on there. And then here with the pen, I'll write, so, oh, that looks terrible. So can you. All right, Ricks can do it. So can you. Except Sharpie Permanent Ultrafine can do it. But the pen, uh, no. Nah. It cannot do. Okay, so we can see here again big difference and this of course writes on wood. Alright, we've written on wood, we've written on plastic, we've written on metal. I mean hey, we can certainly see the advantages of having a Sharpie permanent marker ultra fine point if you want to you know, write really fine lettering, but you want something that'll write on almost every kind of surface and is permanent. And I'm gonna to have to continue on my search to find a good deal on getting a box full of these Sharpie pens. I did search, I was having a hard time finding them, except, you know, here and there you can find one in a bubble wrap, but, but I like to get, you know, a box of them. Uh, I go through pins pretty quick as far as these kind anyway. So there you go, the Sharpie permanent marker ultra fine point and the Sharpie pin. You now know the difference as I do. I hope you like this review video of the Sharpie pin and permanent marker. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell because Otherwise, you will not be notified of new videos. And I will see you in the next video.